Opponents of the boycott against the Jewish state gathered in support of Israeli-owned chocolate shop Max Brenner, where they sipped hot chocolate and waved the Israeli flag. The demonstrators took to the steps of the state library, encountering supporters of the boycott along the way. The two protest groups faced off, waving placards and flags and chanting for their cause. Anti-BDS protest organiser Gideon Rosner, president of the Young Liberals, welcomed his fellow protesters. I don't want to take too long, but can I say that our message today are threefold. One, to say that we support the State of Israel. Two, that no matter what you think of the State of Israel, boycotting private businesses and trying to shut them down just because they're owned by Jews and Israelis is not on. And finally... And most importantly, it's about saying to our friends over there, we're not going anywhere. Politicians were joined by Jewish community leaders in addressing the 150 demonstrators. David Southwick, Liberal member for Caulfield, offered the BDS supporters a proposition. If you are serious about a two-state solution and you want to come and talk to the Victorian public, the Victorian parliament, I'm happy to have you in the Victorian parliament. However, however, we don't need you on our streets affecting Victorian businesses, affecting every business here in QV and Melbourne Central. This sort of stuff will not be tolerated. This sort of stuff we will not accept, and we will not accept that here in Victoria. John Searle, president of the Jewish Community Council of Victoria, accused the BDS campaigners of anti-Semitism. For anyone who thought the day of the blood libel was over, listen to what they're saying. Blood in the hot chocolate. Surely we've heard enough of that in the past. Surely we've seen enough of the boycotts of shops, the same as we saw in pre-war Nazi Germany. And yet here in Victoria, we see it again. Once again, we see this insipid, disgusting anti-Semitism, and our message to all of them is clear. We will not put up with it. Federal member for Higgins, Kelly O'Dwyer, also contributed to the campaign. And we here who are protesting today are here to demonstrate and show our support. We say no to violence, we say no to a campaign of ignorance, and we say no to a campaign of fear. Fear that is being spread by people who are ignorant and who are prepared to use violence in order to get their way. Timna Jacks, JNTV.